As we inch closer to winter, shelters for those in need are expected to be at or close to capacity. Now, the Connecting Grounds in Springfield is converting its worship area into an emergency family shelter. Because of that, the church is moving their services online until the end of March. Fox 49's Parker Paget is at that church tonight. Parker, how soon can families come to that shelter for help? Yeah, Mike, Lauren, they're opening that shelter this evening. I'm told it's an emergency shelter, which means it'll be used when other options are full. One of the volunteers I spoke to says she thinks an effort like this, it means a lot to her because she could have used help like this a year ago. Amanda Gerritsen is paying it forward. She's volunteering for the Connecting Grounds as they turn their church into an emergency family shelter. I don't want to see another family have to suffer the way that I did. I don't want to see another family have to navigate resources that just aren't there or that are hard to find on their own. Struggling is something she says she's too familiar with. It's ironic thinking about a year ago to today. Um, a year ago I was eight months pregnant, living in the back of my car scared to death. Um, I was afraid they were going to take my baby away. I didn't know where to turn. I didn't know what resources were available. Until April, she'll spend time here at the church helping families who are staying temporarily if other shelters are at capacity. Any person who fills these beds, I want to be here to support them, to help them, to love them. Those with the church say a shelter is something the area desperately needed. We're facing a very, very, very long winter, and we're facing potential of some very, very cold days. What's been really heartbreaking is that most of our resources that are working with families that are at risk and vulnerable in our community are operating at capacity all the time. The reality is that I, we have experienced enough church as a verb to understand that this place is not just a church as a place. And, and so uh, it's more than that. Garrison says she hopes this effort will catch on with other churches. This is something that this community really, really, really needs. Um, it's something that's very lacking and I'm hoping that it can be a stepping stone to something bigger. The Connecting Ground says they're using donations to pay for this shelter during the winter months and they're waiting for approval from City Council to use ARPA funds to also pay for this shelter and projects in the future. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Padgett, Ozarks First.